think of my friend James, whose uh, family recognized in Denver that there were very few places that they could find pallets, you know, these wooden pallets that ship uh, everything that, that, we, that we eat, that we, that we wear. Uh, it all comes in on pallets, and it's moved around on pallets. And so in their town, they, they just couldn't find pallets. So they said, well, we need to create a business to help provide pallets so that others don't have the same challenge of, of, of not being able to access them. And ultimately, being an entrepreneur, I believe, is, is seeing an unmet need uh, and then using our creative abilities given to us by God to respond to that need, uh, to create something, uh, whether it's a good or a service, uh, to be able to meet that unmet need. One of the first things I think churches and pastors specifically can do is to help to break down the sacred secular divide in their churches. Uh, pastors can do an incredibly amount, incredible amount of good by going and visiting the men and women from their church in their place of work and see the work that they're doing and affirm the work that they're doing if it's glorifying to God. Uh, one of the things I've heard so regularly from entrepreneurs and people in business is they feel like their work is a necessary evil, that their work is only good in the, the profits that it produces to help the good work. And the reality is that the work that they're doing is needed, that our world thrives and flourishes based on good jobs being provided and good work being created. And so pastors and churches can do a great ministry to their communities and to the flourishing of their communities by challenging the people in their work to see that this is not something that is separate from their faith or compartmentalized from their faith, but it is, it is part of uh, who they are. And part of the mission that God wants to fulfill in the world, is it, it will go through them in their work and through their work.